Today we are here at Vallejo Climatic Chamber to test heating and cooling of the cabin of our car. So we are here to see if every component from the compressor to the fans to the blowers withstand these conditions. My name is Mate Horvat and I am powertrain engineer at Trimac Automobile. Climatic chamber is uh, very similar to the wind tunnel because you have a simulation of the air going to the vehicle up to 120 km per hour. You can have very hot weather inside and very cold weather inside. There also can be changes in the humidity level of the chamber, so we can simulate all uh, possible events during the summer or during the winter. So the room gets heated up by the huge heaters which are inside the facility and they heat up the air which is circulating around, and so it doesn't lose much of the power during this. Uh, we are heating up the chamber until 48 degrees just to try to cool down the cabin as fast as possible to achieve our targets. We are monitoring the coolant temperatures so we don't get something overheated or boiling the water. This is the most dangerous stuff that you can do. So in the chamber it was 48 degrees, it was very high humidity and this is very hard for our system to handle it. We leave the car onto the huge sun load for 48 degrees Celsius. Then cabin even gets warmer up to 70 degrees Celsius. Then we try to cool down the car as fast as possible. Then we see if we achieved our temperature of comfort, for example, 22 degrees Celsius. So we are then doing the heating test on very cold temperatures around 2 a.m. It starts automatically cool down the complete chamber and the car also. The car has the doors left open because we want every part of the car to be on lowest possible temperature. So the thin layer of ice is produced over the windshield and then we trigger the heating of the car and see if uh, we achieve homologation targets. So you can see on the windscreen that there are two markings. These two markings are especially made for European Union. The black marking needs to be defrosted more than 80% of the surface in the first 20 minutes of the defrosting. And the blue marking, which is bigger, needs to be defrosted up to 95% of the surface in 40 minutes. We check the functionality of every component, so if our heater is working, if our pumps can handle this because for the pump it is very hard to move the fluid when it's on very low temperature. So far our car is meeting our requirements. We achieved the cooldown of the car even faster than we expected and for now everything went quite well. This car just came from the factory directly to ours for this specific test. So it just drove a couple of kilometers before just for engineers to check if uh, all the systems are working and that's it. So at the end of this test, after all the testing that still needs to be done on this car, this vehicle goes to the crash test. So we won't see it anymore. <laughs>